All right, we're going to start by alphabetizing words today. Here's the lesson 69 for Saxon, sorry. All right, so um, we're going to look at our guide letters like we did a few days ago. So let's look at the board. Haney, I need you to stop what you're doing. Everyone's eyes need to be on here. Put your pencils down. We're going to practice alphabetizing these words first, and then I'll let you go ahead and do the worksheet part. So, looking at all these words, they all start with what two letters, class? T-H. So, our guide letter will be what letter? <coughs> the third letter. So, I'm going to underline the guide letter, which is the third letter in each of these words. Now, it's easy for me to tell which word goes first. Who can raise their hand and help me with what word may go first that's on the board? Amariah. Thanks. Thanks. So what do I do? I cross out thanks, and I write it here. Miss Yusuf, why do you cross it out? So I know I've already used it, so I don't have to look at it again. Right? Okay, Rena, what goes next? Okay, but what word goes next? No, A, B, C, huh? No. A, B, C, D, E. What is it, guys? There. E comes before I. And then this. Right, class? So there. This. Then what, Dominic? Those. Because O comes before you. And class, what's the last one? Son. Let's read these words together. Thanks, there, this, those, thud. Very good. Now, on your activity sheet 69, you have words that are kind of like this. I want you to do the same thing. I want you to first go through and underline the guide letter like I did. That's probably the third letter. And then I want you to put them in alphabetical order. You can go ahead and pause the video now. Okay, I've given you some time to put these words in alphabetical order. I'm going to call someone from the cup to tell me what the first word would be. Um, let's see, Amariah. Yeah. Does everyone agree? Space? Yeah. Very good. S-P-A-C-E, space. The second one, Dominic. Yeah. Spear or sphere? Spear. Very good. S-P-E-A-R. Excellent job. Uh, the third one. She's not here. She's not here. Rena. Spine. Do you all agree? No. Really? No. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. No, not spine. Who can help her out? Michael is in here. Christian. What comes after spear? I'm sorry? Sphere, very good. Sphere, S-P-H-E-R-E. -E. The reason, Rena, is because H comes before I. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. So, sphere and then spine. So, so far, space, spear, sphere, spine, and what's the next one, Destin? What comes after spine? Spoon, very good, S-P-O-O-N. And the last word, Jacob C. Spunk, S-P-U-N-K. So your paper should look like this. If you need more time, pause the video now. All right, so let's go ahead and do some of our sight word cards. You ready? Yes. All right, let's go.
job. Awesome. All right, we're not going to do our picture cards today. Yeah. Instead, we are going to play a game with our letters. It's called um, Vowel Consonant Review. We're going to form teams of boys and girls. The girls will be the consonants team, and the boys will be the vowels team, as I have here behind me. So we'll go through the letter deck like we usually do. Pay very close attention to the letters on the cards. Girls, you will say the names of the consonant cards and the names of those cards that begin with consonants like D, like digraph, T-H, and combination, W-H. Each time you say the correct name, uh, oh no, I'm sorry. Uh, boys, you say the names of the vowel cards and the names of those cards that begin with vowels, like I, combination E-R, and diagraph A-I, okay? Um, you ready? All right, what is this? Good, good job. Diagraph T-K. And who says that? The girls. Every All the girls. Say it. Good job, boys. are supposed to say that. What is it? Good job. It's dip bong, boys, dip bong, diagraph, O, U. Say it. Dip bong, diagraph, O, U. Dip bong, diagraph, O, W. Diagraph, A, I. Good, diagraph, A, I. Diagraph, A, Y. T, E. It's not digraph. It's dip thong o i dip thong. Good job. That was tricky. It really made you think when you looked at it, and that was kind of the point. Very good. Very very good. That was fun. I like that. All right. Let's practice spelling some words and sounds that we have learned already. So take out your spelling practice sixty nine. Turn to the page that says spelling sound review. It has lines one through nine. I want you to put your finger next to number one, and I want you to write the sound for the letter. That's F, final, F, F. You're writing that on line number one. F, final, F, F. Number two, oi. Oi is a diphthong. It could be O-I and final O-Y. So you're writing O-I, final O-Y. Number three, ooh. That can be O-U or final O-W. No, O-W means out. Number four, 
if it's in the final position, it can make ooh. Okay, but yeah, you're right. Sometimes it does make ow. Okay, listen, if I'm going too fast or you're not getting everything, then just skip it and I'll show you at the end, okay? Number one was F, final F, F. Two was O, I, final O, Y. Three is O, U, final O, W. Number four is qu, qu, quilt. That's easy. That's what? Combination Q, U. All right, number five, A. That's A, consonant E, comma, A, final A, Y. Good job. Yep. Number six, V. It's voiced. V. T-H with a line through it. T-H with a line through it. That one was easy. Number seven, final, stable, syllable, goal. G-L-E. Number eight. Number eight. That's V, final, V-E. Number nine. I. I consonant E, comma, I final Y. I consonant E, comma, I final Y. So your paper should look like this. If you need more time, pause the video now. All right. Number 10. Pink. Pink. I'm going to call on one person to spell it out loud, and I'm going to choose that person is, for some reason, this person's name comes up every, like, 100 times today, so. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to pick somebody I didn't call on today. Rena, spelled pink. Pink. Good, P-I-N-K. Number 11, scrub. Scrub. Scrub the tub. Scrub. Christian, how do you spell scrub? Very good, S-C-R-U-B. Number 12, maple. Maple, maple syrup, maple. Renaya, spell maple. Excellent job. Now let's practice some sight words. Next to number 13, write the word question. Who has a question? Leia, spell question. No. Who can help? Uh, JC, help Leia. Question. Dominic. Very good. Q U E S T I O N. It's a sight word. It's only spelled by sight without any patterns. So, question Q U E S T I O N. All right, number 14. Write the word again. 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 Amaria, spell again for me. Good job. A G A I N. All right, number 15. Answer. Answer. Class, how do you spell answer? Very good. A-N-S-W-E-R. Your paper should look like this. All right. Next to the sentence, where it says sentence, I need you guys to write this sentence. Write it out loud with me first. Put your pencils down. 
Tom's work paid off and he did not fail the test, period. I'm going to say it again. Tom's work paid off and he did not fail the test, period. What kind of work did Tom put in not to fail the test? What did he have to do? No. What do you do before a test? Study. Study. Very good. So his hard work of studying helped him pass the test. That's what the, that's what the sentence means. All right. Write down the sentence. Tom's work paid off and he did not fail the test. You can pause the video now. All right. Can anyone read these words? Let's all read these words together. Weekly, quick booklet. All of these words have suffixes. Who can name the suffix in weekly? What's the suffix, class? L Y. L Y. Very good. What's the suffix in booklet? L, -L E T. Very good. What do you think suffix L Y in these words? What do you think suffix L Y means in these words? What does suffix L Y mean? Weekly. What does that mean? Very good. Like every week. Quickly. Maybe in a quickly manner. In a faster manner. All right, that's right. When suffix ly is added to a word, it can tell us it can tell us how often something was done, as in the word weekly, or how something was done, as in the word weekly. Suffix ly can also tell us that something or someone is acting a certain way, like sadly means someone is acting sad. What do you think suffix let means when it is added to the word? What does booklet mean, Dustin? No, booklet means a little book, right? So suffix let on the end of a noun can mean something small. For example, a booklet is a small book and started, I'm sorry, and starlet is a small or young star. Suffix let can also mean something that is worn, such as in the word wristlet, which means something that is worn on the wrist. When you see a suffix on a word, how do we code it, class? Boxes. With a box. So we're going to box the L-Y in weekly, box the L-Y in quickly, and box the let in booklet. What should we do after we box suffixes? Make sure what is left. What is this called? A yeah. root yeah. word. Very good. Make sure a root word is left. So is weak a root word? If you put weak by itself, is that a word? Yeah. Yes. Like what weak is it? How about quick? Is that a word? Yeah. Yes. It means fast. How about book? Is that a word? Yeah. Very good. Remember the root word should always be related in meaning to the root word with a suffix or else the letter on the ends are probably not acting as a suffix. So let's code the rest of the word weekly. What is this? Diagraph. Very good. About here, what is this? Q -U. Combination Q -U. Q U. Diagraph C K. And this is a brief. How about here? Booklet. O O. O O. Booklet. Very good. And then obviously the accent always goes right before the suffix. The end of the root word. Excellent job. All right, so here are some new cards we're going to add to our um, affect science card. Oh, I put it here. So whenever we see this card, we're going to say suffix let. Very good. Whenever we see this card, we're going to say suffix li. Very good. Now let's look at our spelling and high frequency sheet or papers right now. And next to number one where it says new words, we're going to practice filling some words with these suffixes. Next to number one, I want you to write the word ringlet. Ringlet. That is spelled R-I-N-G-L-E-T. R-I-N-G-L-E-T, ringlet. Next to number two, spell the word 
slowly, slowly, S L O W L Y, slowly, S L O W L Y, slowly. Next to number three, quickly, quickly. Quickly is spelled Q U I C K L Y. Oh, it's behind me. Q U I C K L Y. Quickly. I bet it's behind me and people are still going to ask how to spell it. I wouldn't be surprised. All right. Um, let's see. Okay, so let's read these high frequency words together that are here in the boxes, okay? Me. Her, old, must, name, play, white, better. Okay, I need you to come up with a story or a sentence. It doesn't matter, whatever you want. But it has to have four words in there. It has to have four of these high-frequency words from the box in there. And I need you to write them here. And you highlight the words you've used. Okay? So it's either going to be a sentence or a story using at least four words, okay? And then, um, yeah, we're going to stop right there for a second. Okay, go ahead and do that and pause the video now. All right, so I made up my own sentence. I'm going to share it with you. No, you cannot steal mine. But I would just tell you, I used six words in one sentence. So I use six of the words in one sentence. My sentence is, I told her she must play better with the old white ball. Her must play better old white. This one was a very easy one to put these words together. Um, I asked you to use at least four, okay? Now we're going to learn something else new today. If you're still working, I want you to stop and I'll let you finish in, the, in a second. Does anyone know what an analogy is? When we make an analogy, we examine two items to see if we can discover something that is alike in both of them. That is, we want to find out if the two items are related in some way. Let's try some analogies. I'm going to give you an analogy about two items. Your job is to discover what the analogy between those two items is or how they relate to one another. And then apply that analogy to the relationship between two other items. Okay, let's try this one. An apple is too red, I'm sorry, an apple is too red as a banana is too what? Yellow. Yellow, good job. Let's examine the first analogy closely. What do you think we mean when we say an apple is too red? That apples are red, very good. What color are many apples? Red, right, many people are the color, I'm sorry, right, many apples are the color red. So what do you think we are asking for when we say an apple is too red as a banana is too? Yellow. Very good, yellow. That analogy is this statement was about colors. Let's try another one. Red is to, is to stop as green is to go. Very good, how about this one? Lemon is to sour as sugar is to sweet. Sugar is sweet. Day is to light as night is to dark. This is fun. Let's try the last one. Let's see if you can make up some analogies. Can anyone try to make one up? Um... Haney? Um, oh, um, oh, this is too hot. Um, I, I cream it too. Oh, okay. Ice cream. I'm sorry. Could you please stop interrupting? He said soup is too hot as ice is too cold. cold. That's a very good one. Uh, Rena. Um, 
Okay. Okay, he already did the cold and hot. Oh, okay. For Naya. Match the two cards at pizza is easy. Okay, math is too hard as pizza is too easy. No. Uh, to eat pizza is easy. Uh, to eat pizza is easy, okay. I guess. It's an opinion, though. I don't think math is hard, but. All right. Anyone else want to share one? Haney? Metal is too Ooh, solid. Uh, how about you try something that's not a solid? What's another form oh, of matter? A liquid. a liquid. So what's something that may be a liquid? Haney? Oh, Very good. Water is too liquid as metal is too Hard. solid. Hard. Very good. That's a good one. Wow, you're good at this, Haney. All right, how about this? Shell is to egg as skin is to apple. I don't get it. Because a egg has a shell and an apple has skin. Oh. Wing oh. is to bird as arm is to yes. person. Oh, yeah. A person has an arm, but a bird has a wing. wing. How about this? Dog is to mouth. As bird is to beak. A bird does not have a mouth. A bird has a beak. Lamb is to sheep. As colt is to... Who knows what a colt is? Colt is a horse. Lamb is to sheep. As colt is to horse. That was kind of hard. All right, very good. Let's review the vowel rules. Let's try an analogy like the ones you'll have on your worksheet today. Star is to sky as fish is to... But does a fish live in a pond? Yes. Or you could say fish is to water because you can find fish in a pond, in an ocean, in a river, in a lake. So I guess water would be a good answer. Very good. So today on Worksheet 69, we're going to work on analogies. First, you're going to um, code number 1 through 8. Make sure you box the suffixes, let and li. And then you're going to put the right analogy on the line. Cross, out, cross it out as you use it so you don't get confused because you're only using each word once, okay? And then on the back, the homework, the same thing, all right? If you have any questions, let me know. Have fun with analogies. They're fun. All right, see you later. Bye.